YouTube, what's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is a little bit different than usual. It's no tutorial. Um, I mean, it's kind of a tutorial, but not really. Over the last few months, I've had quite some people in uh, my comment section and in my Instagram DMs ask me to do a setup video, a setup tour, to show y'all what equipment I'm using to record my videos and to make beats. So yeah, earlier today, I uh, redid my whole setup and I've recorded everything. So I started from scratch with an empty desk and connected everything, hooked everything up. As you can see right now, the whole setup is done. Uh, installed everything today and like I said recorded the whole thing. So I'm gonna roll the footage and do a little voiceover man Let's get straight to it. All right, so welcome to the voiceover man. Uh, yeah, you can see me clean my desk uh, Not much to say besides that because you don't really get the chance to clean your desk too often because there's always like equipment on it uh, So yeah, got to clean your desk first off just make sure you have a clean workspace, bro like clean your carpet whatever you got on your setup bro. I don't know what y'all setups look like but make sure to clean y'all shit before anything, before you put anything on your desk type shit. And I don't know about y'all, but I've never seen a desk that clean in my life. And as you can see, I got a little net underneath for all the cables, but I'm gonna get into that later. So the first thing I always like to connect are my power strips. I got two, one underneath my desk and one next to my desk. So I got plenty of outlets for all my equipment, stuff like that. So first thing after that, after the outlets is of course, make sure to clean everything because you don't really get the chance too often, you feel me? So I always like to clean everything first and then kind of measure everything out. Uh, so at this point, I'm not hooking up everything. So I'm just measuring things out. My monitor stand, my key light, my speaker stand. So I'm just trying to see if I want to change anything, like change the position of some things. Uh, Cause now you got the chance. You feel me? If everything's hooked up, you're too late. Like it's fucked up to change everything around when everything's already hooked up to all the outlets and all that stuff. So you can see me positioning my interface, MIDI keyboard, and synth. I always like to have everything in front of me. So my interface and my MIDI keyboard, I always like to have it right in front of me instead of having it on a stand right next to me, something like that. I just think it helps with your workflow to have your uh, MIDI keyboard right in front of you. And who would have thought, of course I'm cleaning again. So you can see me clean my MIDI keyboard and this is uh, not sped up. It's a real time speed for the people wondering. So a keyboard from Arturia, by the way, I've had it for like two years now. Works great. It's a MIDI keyboard. I just like the way how it looked. So I got nothing else to say about it. And I'll put uh, links to all the products, equipment I use in the description. So after that, I installed my USB hub since I got like 20 USBs to deal with. And I always like to keep my USB hub underneath my desk to have as little cables as possible showing on top of my desk. So here you can see me uh, attach the USB hub underneath my desk. And since I measured and positioned everything beforehand, now it's easy to just install everything really quick. So here you can see me attach my monitor arm. And the reason why I use a monitor arm instead of a stand is because I like to keep my MIDI on my desk, of course. And that way you can easily slide your MIDI underneath the monitor if that makes sense so you can see me install my synthesizer and it's looking clean so far got the monitor arm set up as you can see the midi right underneath uh, still got some cables showing but i'll get rid of those later cable on the right is my display cable i'll run that underneath my desk all the way to my laptop because i don't really like to keep my laptop on top of my desk and here you can see me hide all the cables in the net i was talking about earlier so it's the perfect solution for all the the cables you got hanging around underneath your desk and that's why i also like to keep a power strip right next to the to the net so you can just run the cables through the net right into the power strip and right into your speaker monitor or whatever. And after that, it's time to bring out the big guns. And I mean, the speakers, I'm using Atom Audio T5Vs. I know a lot of people be using the HS series from Yamaha. I've had the HS sevens in the past, but I just like the way how the Atom sounded uh, better. But of course it's a personal preference, personal opinion. And I don't know where y'all live, but I suggest before you buy any speakers, you try some out. So go to a guitar center or some kind of music store and just try out different brands, different sizes and see which uh, speakers sound best to you. When it comes to the positioning, as you can see, I keep mine on stands, helps with the sound, kind of elevates the speakers a little bit. Cause I always like to keep my ear when I'm sitting down, keep my ear in between the tweeter uh, and the woofer. Find that that's the sweet spot for me. And here you can see me hook up my speaker cables underneath my desk into the power strip. And to help with the cable management, I got me these little cable clamps, which I clamp onto my speaker stands. And these little accessories like these uh, will keep your setup clean, like keep the cables from moving all over your desk, stuff like that. Here you can see me hook up my speakers to my interface. The cables I use for that is an XLR to TRS, I believe. Uh, I figured that works best for the setup I got. But of course, figure out what works best for your setup. Don't just copy what I'm doing. All right here, you can see me set up my key light, which I use to uh, light my face when I'm using a face cam. I can really recommend y'all use a key light when you're using a face cam because it's really reliable. Like whenever you're using sunlight and stuff like that, of course, it could get cloudy while you're recording. So I really suggest y'all buy a key light, even though it's a little bit on the pricey side. But the key lights and the monitor set up. So I move over to the microphone. And for the microphone, I'm also using an arm. Same with the monitor, just to kind of save space on your desk. If that makes sense. Just make Makes it look a little bit cleaner and the microphone i use is a blue yeti x not the best not the worst microphone but it's it does the job man i uh, also got a shock mount for my monitor arm you see me run the cable through the monitor arm 
attached to the microphone, everything set up. And since I'm using an external monitor, there's no point for me to keep my laptop on top of my desk. So I like to kind of tuck it in the back a little bit. And of course I'm cleaning again. Uh, I believe this is called a book arc. Since I like to keep my laptop closed, since I'm not using the display or the keyboard or anything like that, uh, I like to put my laptop in the book arc and just run the cables into the laptop. You see me doing right here. So I'm plugging in the display cable I was talking about earlier, plugging that into the laptop, putting a little plant in front of it, just kind of decorate it a little bit. And now it's time for the mouse pad. And once again, to minimize on cables using a wireless keyboard and mouse, I believe the keyboard is like 20 years old or something, but uh, yeah, it still works. And then I'm also using this headphone clamp just to keep my headphones from just laying around on my desk all the time. All right. I think I got everything hooked up. Uh, all the USBs, all the outlets, all that stuff. It's looking clean, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Cable's not too bad. Uh, of course you got some cables there, but this whatever, bro. All that's left now is to add my furniture back because I took it out of my room to have more space for the setup. And the most important part, I'm gonna turn on the outlets, the sockets right there and under my desk. Uh, Y'all seen how I set it up and see if everything works, man. All right, so boom, got the little closet, the little shelves set up uh, it's a great tip if y'all trying to make your own little home studio instead of filling your whole walls with these type of wedges this type of soundproof material this doesn't absorb uh, sound from going out of your room or into your room like only reason i put this here is for my microphone because uh, of course when i'm talking like the sound bounces back into the back of my microphone so you'll hear like reflections and stuff like that so that's why i put that there so the best tip i can give y'all to like soundproof your bedroom a little bit is to put as much furniture as possible in it like solid material like solid uh furniture beds uh bookshelves shit like that so yeah, i got this little thing going on got some clothes of course i'll see the shoes man for people who know you know got the unc threes white cement threes uh pure money fours those are the Concord 11s. We just recently got those, bro. I've been wanting those for like, since they came out in 2018, bro. I finally got them like last month. I believe these right here are the Black Metallic 5s. We got the Concord 5s. I don't really wear those a lot. Uh, Jubilee 11s, Brad 11s. Got some Concord Lows, but they beat the shit. Of course, you got the Air Forces, uh, the Air Mags, and some Yeezy Slides. So for the people interested in that, here y'all go, man. So as y'all seen, everything's hooked up perfectly. Uh, got the external monitor set up got my macbook right here it's pretty hidden the reason why i put it all the way back there is there's no reason for me to put my laptop on my desk if i'm using an external monitor right like it's only going to take up unnecessary space so i got the laptop hooked up to an external hard drive right there hooked up to the charger to the usb hub that was underneath uh right there i don't know if y'all can see it and lastly i got it hooked up to the to the monitor of course uh, i got this cable runs all the way so there under my desk to the monitor stand uh and to the to the monitor so it's very clean i like it like this so yeah man that's pretty much it that's my uh 2023 setup that's what it looks like at night y'all see me in the in the intro of course so yeah, i'm gonna try to find all the links to all the equipment i have and put it down in the description for y'all if y'all are interested in the in the products or if y'all have any questions just let me know in the comments or dm me on instagram so this is what the setup looks like right now at night uh, i got the little lights going on in the back got speakers got the key light Everything was better, like 10 times better at night, bro. Also bought some um, some little plants, man. Like put put plants in y'all studio, man. Make sure to let me know, by the way, if y'all want to see more videos like these, like more real life type of videos instead of tutorials, because I don't really make videos like these too often, but I like to make them. So make sure to let me know in the comments. So like always, hope y'all learned something from the video. Want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end. We just hit 14K on the channel, so really appreciate y'all for that, man. Bro, now I can finally do an outro like this, man. Yo, y'all stay safe, man. Y'all stay safe, man.